everyone, it's Tara here with Create Life Paper Words, and as you can see, I am working on another traveler's notebook. This one that I'm doing is my 2017 family pictures, so I'm so excited that I'm actually doing this year's photos and not working backwards. So I have gotten all my pictures ready to go. I printed them all off as 4x6s and also as 3x4s. And so I'm not going to be using all of them in this notebook, but I wanted to have the option to be able to scrapbook the rest of them later on. So I'm just starting with my middle page and I find that's the easiest one to work on uh, just because I can get my photo in there and it's ready to go and then I already feel like I have one down. Then I'm moving to the title page. I wanted to keep it pretty simple. I'm using a label and then I'm using these cute little puffy alphabets from Felicity Jane's Willow Kit. And then I just did a little tiny bit of stitching along the bottom just to add a little bit more detail. And now I've moved into the first page, so the opening page. This is going to have a photo of my three kids in it. And I'm also going to do some brush lettering. So I'm just trying to decide what papers I'm going to put behind it. I have opted to use a lot of Felicity Jane papers. And I actually made a traveler's notebook out of a Felicity Jane 12 by 12. I also wanted to bring a lot of my brush lettering into this um, notebook and so I was hoping to get at least a little bit of brush lettering on each page. On this first one I decided to put these three um, have our heart and of course it's a picture of my three children. These next three pages are each going to have a single photo of each, one of each of my child. So the first one is of my daughter Aubrey and for this one, I wanted to keep one page fairly plain. So that's going to be on the left side. So all I've done is matted her picture on a, it looks black, but it's actually um, a really dark blue. And then I lined around that so that it's framed in even more. And then I do a little bit of brush lettering. So I've got her name written and then at, and then I'm going to put another puffy sticker on there. That is the same as the one I used on the front for how old she is. And this uh, right side, I was a little unsure which way I wanted to go. I had this pink um, paper and it's just um, an extra that I've had from my one Felicity Jane kit. To be honest, I can't remember which kit this color was from. And so it wasn't quite the whole length. So I added a little bit of this geometric shape one and this geometric shape one is from the Willow kit. So that was from May, I believe. And then I'm just going to put um, a little bit of washi and that's just so that you can't really see the seam uh, where the two pages meet. And then I decided that I wanted to do a little bit of journaling about each of the children. So for Aubrey's I just wrote about how she is becoming responsible and helpful and what she loves to do right now. And then I wanted to do a little bit more um, stamping on there. So I added lovely and kind and both of those are from um, my Felicity Jane kit. Again, I can't remember which stamp set that one is from. The next page, I really love that geometric paper so much that I decided to do that on the next page for Rut. At first I thought I would maybe do the yellow side and then I decided that I didn't, I didn't really like how that was going to look. So I didn't have um, a full piece of paper and I wanted to add a little bit more detail. So I end up doing some washi down the side and I use three colors there. So I use a dark green, which um, is actually one of the colors that we used in our photos. I always like to have uh, two to three a color palette of two to three colors when I do our family photos. And this year we decided to actually take it from the jacket that I wore, which was a uh, really forest green and navy blue tartan blazer. And so that's what I built um, all our, everyone else's outfits around was what I was wearing. And so I wanted to bring those same colors in. So I've got the dark green and then I've got that navy, navy blue and then I added some gray as well. And so just sticking this down, now you will notice I am not using my tape runner and that is because I sent my husband in to get adhesive one day. And I really should not have done that unless I had a picture for him because he ended up getting double-sided tape 
in like a scotch tape like roll and I have to say I'm trying to use it up because he got me 10 rolls so he did get me what I asked for and I thought he knew what I meant when I said that it's in the tape runner but he obviously didn't so I'm just trying to use this stuff up and I really can't stand it because it's very it's not user friendly we'll say it's just not user friendly when I'm trying to work on this kind of stuff so it's, I'm struggling with it. I have to say I'm struggling with it. So I finished that one up and I think actually that my uh, phone died when I was recording this at that point in time. So moving on to Emmy. Um, she, I wanted it to just be quite a lot of white on there. I just wanted her smiling, shiny face to really shine through on this. So I end up using a doily as the background paper and then I match her her photo on a card that's got a very very light it's a light beige with a very light pinstripe diagonal and it's uh, really really soft and I find that it just sort of really brings out her hair color actually is what you really see on this one so again I do a little bit of brush lettering so I do her name Emmeline at two and then I do a little bit of writing on there just a little bit about what she's doing she's starting to talk so much and she's really sort of she's really funny she's got big smiles and she's very independent as of right now and then I decide to add a little flower on that and I call that page good uh, just trimming off a little bit of the excess because that's what happens a lot of times when I start adding all these papers together um, so for this page I had one extra page before it goes to the middle um, insert where I've got our family 8 by 8 photo so I decided to go with um, a photo of the three kids and this is actually my favorite photo that was taken in this um, of the three kids together in our photo shoot that we did and I just love how cozy and comfy they are together and they've all got big smiles and it's totally that's just how they are they are love each other and the big kids absolutely love Emmy she's their she's their little baby doll and yeah it just really is those three kids of mine so I decided to bring in some um, greens and yellows and you saw that I used my mist so those are studio calico um, mist I can't think of if they have like a different brand or anything like that um, but I really like them and I find that they uh, dry really quickly which is also what I really like so I brought in some greens and yellows and then I also brought in um, that green 3x4 card and that's a Felicity Jane one and I just matted it on top of that and I really liked how it had the hearts on that um, and then I do some brush lettering and I don't actually think that I show the brush lettering it does say family a little bit of crazy a little bit of loud and a whole lot of love um, and then I stuck an ampersand and a little uh, label on that one. As I'm working in this middle one, all I want to do is just put something really, really subtle on it. So I end up going with a wood veneer, um, what would that, like a, a tag and it says cherish moments and that is from Colorcast Designs. And I got that, I want to say at the beginning of May when I did a big color cast designs order. And I really like how her wood veneer is thin enough that you can use a staple to attach it, but not too thin that it um, that it's going to break. So she has a really great um, weight to her, to her uh, wood veneers. This next page that I'm doing is my husband. As you'll see, I brought that same gray geometric design pattern from the Felicity Jane Willow kit over. I've used that both on my daughter Aubrey's and then also on my son Rhett's. And I'm using it here on my husband's. I just think that it goes really well with our photos. Um, as you can see, my husband's got, um, he was doing gray and green with his outfit. So I really wanted to bring those colors in when I was working on his. So I've got the gray with the background paper and then there's that little pop of green with that label right underneath. And um, again, doing a, just a tiny bit of brush lettering. At this point, I had ran out of the puffy stickers um, in the three and two. So I just uh, hand wrote three and two. And then again, just a little tiny bit of of writing about him and what he's into at this moment and then I've got myself here and again using a doily I always absolutely love the doilies and doing some brush lettering Tara at 32 
and then I just did a little bit of journaling about myself. It's always harder to write about yourself, I find, than I think it is to write about um, the other members of your family, or at least it is for me. Um, I talked a little bit about how I definitely feel like I'm coming into my own these past few years and that I'm feeling more comfortable with myself and that I love scrapbooking and documenting and project life and tea. So that's just a little bit about me in a nutshell and adding that uh, little label again, that's a Felicity Jane one and then one of the gorgeous rose gold paper clips. And those are from Felicity Jane as well, from the Willow Kit. But I believe you can also buy them in her store just as a uh, standalone item. I absolutely love mine and I've been using them on everything and I actually bought another pack too. So moving on to this page, this is actually my favorite page of my whole uh, 2017 family photos, Traveler's Notebook. Um, this is one of my absolute favorite photos of my husband and I, and it's one that I have already printed off as an enlargement um, for our house. So I just do a very uh, quick little strip of washi on that left hand side, and it's just a black and white diagonal stripe. Pretty simple. Um, and I get this uh, circle label, so it's a circle with black around it, and I believe this is one that I printed off from uh, Caitlin Schaefer. I will see if I can uh, link it below um, so you can find them. And then I just use my uh, Cameo and I uh, cut them out. And then I did a bunch of journaling on that page. Um, 2017 is uh, our 10 year uh, wedding anniversary in September. So I just wrote a little bit about that. And then um, on the left hand side, I wrote a little bit about the photo and why I love it so much. Moving on to this next page. Again, it's another photo of myself and my husband. We had so many really good photos from this that normally I only get maybe one or two of us, but I think I got four or five this time. So I opted to go um, with a uh, ace tape paper and it's uh, clear with a white polka dots on it. And so I uh, just stick the photo right on top of that. And then I stick that right to the page and do a little bit of trimming off of the excess. And then um, I put a stamp on, it says favorite moment. And that is from an Allie Edwards. Oh, I wanna say I got that from one of the Week in the Life's, I think it was a, the 2016 one. And then I found this quote from Pinterest. It says, I never want to stop making memories with you. And again, do some brush lettering for that. And really happy with how that page turns out. And then the very last page, I'm just double checking to make sure I didn't miss a page somewhere, is um, one that I'm going to do of the five of us. So it's very similar to the inside uh, page, the one that I did as an eight by eight, except that in this one, we're just, the angle is up a bit higher and Emmy is actually pointing at the camera, which she thought was amazing. She just, she absolutely loved it and she kept pointing at it, so. I uh, just did a little bit of uh, outlining around that one page and then uh, attached the photo. And I am figuring out what I'm going to do. And I decide to do um, a circle and it's a very messy circle and then a bunch of little uh, flowers and little tiny circles and leaves and that kind of stuff. Um, and then I write in there, kids make life the best kind of busy. And then I have a little walk for, through for you here of my whole album. And then there's gonna be stills after that. Um, I just wanna take a moment and say thank you so much for watching and joining me in this fun traveler's notebook uh, process video. If you have any questions or comments, I would absolutely love to hear them. And thank you for your time. We'll see you next time, bye.